Hi, this video is about the Kerber Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2015 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 17, which also came up in the Grade 7 8 Contest. So the question is A mother is 28 years older than her 3 year old daughter. Which of the following is false about the number of years it takes for the mother to be three times as old as her daughter? Alright, so right now we know that the daughter is three years old. And we know that the mother is 28 years older. So that means that she is 3 plus 28, which is 31 years old. Alright, now what we want to know is when it, how long it takes for the mother to be three times as old as her daughter. So we want to know how many years this takes. So let's, let's call that number of years for that condition to be satisfied. Let's call that Y. So we have to add that to not only the daughter's age now, but also the mother's age now, because that's in the future. Okay. So, this is for the daughter's age in that, in that, whatever, how many years that is, and this is the mother's age in how ma however many years that is, for the mother to be three times as old as the daughter. Okay. Well, we know that M must equal to 3D, because we know that she, in that time she will be three times as old as the daughter. So that's equal to 3D. And now, what we can do is we will just multiply this by 3. So we have 3 times, and then in brackets, we have the 3 plus y. Alright. Now, by using the distributive law, we can do 3 times 3 plus 3 times y. So 3 times 3 is 9, plus 3 times y is 3y. Alright, and now we will bring down the 31 plus y. Okay, so what we want to have is the variable y on one side and just the number on the other side. So, now if we only want y's on this side, that means we want to subtract 9 because we have plus 9. Now, whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So, if we subtract 9 on this side, we also have to subtract 9 on this side. So, 31 minus 9 is 22. So, we have 22 plus y, and then we just have 3y. Now, again, we want just the number here and the y here. And since we have plus y here, we want to subtract y which will just leave us 22 on this side. But now, if we did that on that side, we must also do it on this side. So 3y minus 1y is 2 times y, or 2y. Okay, so now we have exactly what we wanted. We have the number on one side, and the variable on the other side. But now we want to find out just y, because we want to know in how many years that condition will be satisfied. So now we must divide both sides by 2 so that we only have y on this side. So 2y divided by 2 is of course just y, and 22 divided by 2 is 11. Alright, so we know that in 11 years, the mother will be three times as old as her daughter. Okay, and we want to know which of these options are, which of the following is false about 11. Okay, option A, the number is prime. Well, that option is true because 11 is a prime number. It's only divisible by 11 and, well, 1 and itself. Okay, so it can't be option A. Option B, the number is greater than 10. Well, that's true because 11 is greater than 10. So it's not option B either. Option C, the number is less than 21. Well, again, that's also true because, well, 21 is greater than 11. Now, D, the greatest common factor between the number and 12 is 1. Well, yes, 11 and 12 only have that one common factor, which is 1. So, that option is true. So, that means it can't be that option. So, option E, 
the number is divisible by 11. Well, that's, tr that's also true because 11 divided by 11 is 1, so that works. So it can't be that option either. Now, option F, the number is divisible by 13. Well, that's false because 11 is not divisible by 13. So, now, finally, option G, the number has two identical digits. Well, that's true because 11 has the two digits 1, 1. Okay. Therefore, the only option or the only statement which is false is from option F, the number is divisible by 13. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carebootest.com.